What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel. I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about madness like this I'm looking at right now. I'm talking about unbelievable amount of emails that you can have in your Outlook and mail client. So maybe you're like me and you're working for a big company and you have ton of emails every single day and, uh, and you need to go through and you need to have a look at all of that, how to take control of this. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna give you three tips. Uh, so one of the first things I like to do is, I like to create different folders for different emails. Like you can see on my, on my video, I have already shitloads of them. So you can have emails from, I don't know, your boss. You can have uh, emails from IT department, quality department, uh, finance department, whatever you have. Maybe you have emails only from specific suppliers. Basically, instead of having that all things in one folder, you can easily separate that to different ones. So in this case, I'm taking emails from IT support. I'm gonna move that to separate folder. It's very simple. Just right press of your mouse button, go to rules, and you're gonna choose the first line, which is always move messages from, in my case, IT support. So you're gonna choose that. Now he's asking you where I'm gonna stay with the inbox folder, the main folder, but I'm gonna make inside this folder another one. So I'm giving the name, IT emails, for example, and just press OK. Depends how many emails from the person, from the department you have. Now Microsoft Outlook mail client is sorting all those emails and putting them to your new folder. So like you can see, I'm just pressing on IT emails and I have all of them in one place. Very handy, freaking handy as hell. Okay guys, tip number two is you need to learn how to use search bar here because I've noticed many of my colleagues, they just, what, what they are doing, when they are looking for something, in this case I'm looking for order, someone was ordering something, doesn't matter. So most of people just place this word here and that's it and just they will browse every email. What they will get, they will get any email that have this word order which is super annoying and not efficient. So first of all, start using this icon from. So maybe you remember that that order was from specific person. That's already a game changer. Start using simple things like this. So, so just press on the from. You need to put the name of the person. Doesn't have to be full name. And uh, these days companies, they're using name, dot, surname, and the rest of the email. You don't, you don't need to use that, just simply put Adam, for example, put maybe surname, what, whatever you remember, just put this one thing. Another icon, maybe you remember the subject of, the, of your emails, because again, in, in big companies, certain emails will go always with a certain subject. So when I'm ordering stuff, you know, or someone is ordering something from me, it's gonna be always this word order in the subject. Or maybe a breakdown, maybe something, uh, maybe accident, something like that. So start using this second icon as well. Another thing, maybe you have an email. You remember you've got this email some time ago. You're not sure even who sent you this, but you remember there was a attachment. So just simply by pressing this button here, you can see all emails with only attachments. Plus, nothing is stopping you from combining those methods so like i said you remember you've got the email from let's say your boss and the subject was something about orders and it has attachments just use all of those uh, icons here another tip guys when you use the search bar probably notice that when you're looking for something in my case i'm looking for downtime report when you put downtime report like this you will have all emails uh, with uh, downtime, downtime reports plus every other email that had somewhere downtime or report. And this is messy. This is very messy. This is not, uh, not handy at all. So you need to start using those guys. Uh, so from that, from that point, you will get only results with uh, emails having downtime report 
together. And maybe the last tip, what I like to do, certain emails, I still have to have them in my main uh, folder. I don't want to move them around because they are too important and I'm getting them on a daily basis. But maybe there are some emails, are like for example from your boss, and you just want them to be a little bit more visible, like uh, maybe bolded or maybe different font or maybe color. So for that you just need to go here again to the search bar, just type conditional formatting. If you start, just put that here, conditional formatting, and under actions you will see customize current view. Just press on this. In this new window you will have this button here, conditional formatting. And so this is a little bit like creating a rule. So we're gonna create a new rule. So, you, so as you can see, I already have one rule here. I call it boss. In that rule, what I'm doing, I'm just changing the color of the font to green. So every email from my boss will be on that list green. So I know it's more important than the other ones. Okay, let's create a new rule for something else. Let's call it IT. So every email from IT will be semi bold let's say let's change the color to red or maybe blue press ok now you need to press condition and you need to press from because we, we need to tell this rule where those emails what emails should be shown in this different way so in my case it support just press ok ok so from like you can see from this point every email from IT support is blue. For some reason I've noticed sometimes this method is not working correctly. So if if you choose the blue and it's not working for you, change to something else. Okay guys, then that's gonna be it. I hope this will improve your skills a little bit. And again, if you found that interesting, don't forget to smash that like button, not only if you want, and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye.